all right folks we got another video over here as you see in front of me I have a Harbor Freight tools receipt I got it doesn't say what it is it's a 14 inch industrial cutoff saw and we're gonna be opening it up showing you what it's about it was originally $79.99 20% off coupon, got it for $63.99, okay? And a coupon for the free flashlight, which of course, you never have too many flashlights. Comes with a battery, LED light, not too shabby. Okay, let's get down to it. Here she blows. Okay, we got 14 inch industrial cutoff saw high performance 15 amp motor spindle lock for quick wheel changes easy access brushes high performance 15 amp motor fully shielded bearings spindle lock for quick wheel changes as we said over here and quick release vice adjustable fence blah 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 all right let's open this bad boy up and uh see what she looks like Okay, well, first of all, we got a bunch of styrofoam. Now let's lay this down like this. Okay, got a bunch of styrofoam. Okay, get rid of that. We got a saw, big Allen wrench. More styrofoam. Uh, that's probably all. Okay. Get rid of the box. All right. What do we got? In here we got some books and some extra brushes. Okay. Got that. Pull this up here. And get a good view here. Up a little bit, maybe. All right. So this, this is it. Okay. Thought we'd be better free handing it here. Okay. You get your uh, trigger. Feels pretty mushy, but it sounds like it's got a good, good click to it. Yeah, what else we got here? Take a look at the fence. Okay, put that up. Put that down. Pretty average. Okay, this is bolted on from the bottom. That's good. Looks like you get your adjustments here for in the angle which is probably something I won't do too often looks like we got a nice line here to line it up with though so that's not too bad now let's see. Let's see what it's like when we loosen this up Yeah, loosen that one up. If I can get this in there. Okay, that doesn't move around too much. So you could probably get a half-ass accurate uh, thing. Here, let me get a square. We'll see how accurate it is. Not that you're going to be going for extreme accuracy with these anyways, but you could always throw the square on there. It's, you know, not too bad. It's about as accurate as you're probably going to get with these bad boys. So, not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. 
Set that back up straight. Tighten these back up. Yeah, we can do that later. What else do we got here? Alright. Yeah, spring feels okay. We got your guard here. It's got a little rubber piece. A piece of rubber on there that hits that. That's kind of okay-ish. Here's our quick release lever thingy. Seems all right. And the blade holds on with this, which we got the tool for. And hold on. Okay, we got a one inch, one inch arbor here. Okay, so far so good. Now, the reason I bought this is I got a project I'm doing where I need to cut some steel. I've been wanting to buy a cold cut saw for the longest time. But it's just not in the budget right now. And I needed something that I can quickly make a bunch of reasonably straight cuts with. And some square tubing. And the Sawzall wasn't cutting the mustard. It was, but I don't know. You get sick of making a bunch of cuts with a Sawzall. And a handheld cutter and everything is not ideal. So, I decided to get this. Let's plug her in, see what she, see what she sounds like. Yeah, okay. And we're off. Sounds a little grindy, but whatever. It'll probably make some cuts. Yeah, this frame here is got some rubber feet on it, which is nice. And all your nuts and everything are just welded onto the bottom which ain't bad this is bolted on from the bottom uh, nothing really too chintzy it's got one not rubber foot for whatever reason uh, we got a little thing in here to keep your sparks from flying too far away lock over here for, for locking this into place so you can lock it in the down position not too bad it's this overall is is okay you know for 63 bucks uh, it's not bad I got the cheapest one I could get because I just need it to cut. And I'm sure it'll cut. I'm sure it'll do a fine job. We'll set up a piece here and uh, do a little test run. And uh, I'll tell you what I think. Alright, I got a piece of one by 2 rectangle tubing. Set her up in there. Tighten her up. Nice and tight. And I'll put a little something over here to hold the end of it. Not real important for you to see, so I ain't gonna worry about it. Okay. Alright. 
Looks like it's halfway in there, pretty, pretty okay. And we'll see how she goes. Okay, we get a lot of vibrations, so it uh, knocked the camera off the thing. So let's keep on a going. We'll do her by hand. First cut with her, halfway straight, makes a lot of sparks, gets that thing pretty hot, and uh, overall, hey, it gets the job done, for now, who knows how long it'll last, but if it lasts me a year or two, and I get some halfway regular use out of it, you know, can't go wrong for for 60, 60 something bucks, 63 bucks, you know, what are you going to do? It's a cheap tool. It's not meant to be uh, high quality. It's pretty low quality, but for something like this, you know, screw it. Good enough. All right, folks, I got to go. Adios. Okay, and uh, I'm back with an update already. Uh, after using this thing a little bit, uh, it's one thing I do like is you can tighten this up and keep this stupid flimsy guard up out of your way. Or, I mean, I'll probably end up just taking it all the way off, but you can just tighten that up, and it is really flimsy. But you can just keep it up and out of your way if you're not into safety or anything. Uh, I seen this laying here. Not really sure where that came from. I'm guessing it come off of this thing somehow. And the knob for this uh, is already come off and missing. And I think it might have went down the drain. So, you might want to, if you buy one of these, you might want to just check and make sure everything's tight on it. Because uh, I got a mystery nut there, and I lost the knob already. So, but it works, and uh, makes nice straight cuts. And uh, I got no problem with the way it operates, other than it falls apart a little bit. But uh, hey, for 63 bucks, if you're in between, you know, you got nothing and you're saving up to buy the, uh, the cold cut or something a little better, you know, this will get you buying a pinch. So, all right, adios, I gotta go.